Hey guys, Billy B here again. I'm going to title this video My Beautiful Flowers and the one that is a beautiful flower but dying on the inside. I enjoy growing flowers now in my time because I spend all my time alone at home by myself. So I grow flowers and look at this beautiful orchid. Look at how many blooms are on it. And my wife is just absolutely amazed at how many more blooms are growing on it. There's just buds everywhere on it. I think this one may get 30, 30 flowers on it. And here's a, a purple one, pinkish purple colored one. Those flowers are absolutely beautiful. Orchids are so beautiful. They actually look like butterflies on the inside, some of them. It's amazing how beautiful they are. And here's another kind of purple one that I grow right there absolutely beautiful the hurricane destroyed most of the foliage around our house so I have to put in new foliage and grow new plants but I have some flowers that are doing quite well and um, I'm gonna take you in we're gonna walk around on the inside of my porch this is my grass in my yard we've had a drought and uh, most of my neighbors they all have weeds in their yard but uh, I have a grass in my yard, a little bit anyways. So we're gonna walk inside of my patio here. It's called a Florida room. And uh, this plant right here is the world's longest blooming plant. It is absolutely amazing. It is, it's been almost 90 degrees the last week here. And this plant is just doing absolutely great. And it only needs one ice cube a week to water it. I found that absolutely fascinating. Okay, I'm going to take you inside my house and I'm going to show you my beautiful flower that's alive but dying on the inside. Got to turn on some lights here, excuse me. Okay, this is my my flower, my beautiful flower that's dying on the inside. Right here. This is my daughter. Her name is Callie Catherine. Um, she didn't get her high school diploma. You see that Kaiser University flag? She was dual enrolled her senior year in college and um, attending high school. Her goal in life, her dream, was to become a, an officer in, in one of the military branches and then go on to a life of civil service. But her, her heart, mind, and soul has absolutely been ruined by her school system, all because a reporter came and made, made, made her do an interview. Well, didn't make her do an interview, but she did an interview with them and said that there's mold in their school. And uh, she came up one, uh, she didn't pass her perp test, so now she doesn't have a high school diploma. She has a certificate of completion of high school, but doesn't have her high school diploma and cannot attend college now, cannot finish her college, her two years of college she needed to become a, an officer in the military. Uh, I'm absolutely heartbroken, and I cannot believe this happened to my daughter, that a school system would do that just because my daughter told a reporter that there is mold in the school and it's making all the children sick. You see these right here? These are awards my son just won, and my daughter has a bunch of awards. And anyways, that picture right there is major. Can you see a ribbon rack that she earned, y'all? Huh? Can you believe that the school system did that to her? I'm sorry guys, I had a stroke and I'm terribly upset. I'm trying to make this video and I just want to get it out there to share with you guys and let you know what's going on. It's my beautiful daughter. See all these photos? She was a sweet girl with a straight and moral compass. And now her bright light has turned dark because of the absolutely immoral, unlawful corrupt people of Broward County.
Yep, absolutely amazing what they did to my beautiful sweet daughter. I hope that y'all can see these pictures. And I hope if you're a mother, parent, father, brother, sister, anybody who sees this video, let me tell you what, if you're thinking on moving to Florida, don't do it. Have a great day, you guys. God bless.